Hello everyone, this is Saurav from Edureka. Today we will learn how to install Jenkins, which is a continuous integration tool on CentOS. So there are five steps to install Jenkins. First, we need to install latest version of Java, that is Java 8. Once Java is installed, we need to install latest version of Apache Tomcat, that is Tomcat 9. If you have installed a version of Java that is older than Java 8, it won't be compatible with Apache Tomcat 9. So you need to install Java 8 or version of Java that has been released after Java 8. Now third step is to download Jenkins WAR file. And once you have downloaded this WAR file, you need to deploy this particular file. Our fifth and final step is to install relevant plugins. So let us proceed with the first step that is to install Java 8. To install Java, I'll type a command sudo yum install java 1.8.0 open jdk and here we go it is asking for password press y it is now downloading packages so java is installed now i will clear my terminal and to check the version of Java that we have installed, I'll type Java hyphen version and it will display the version. So it is the correct version that is 1.8.0. Let me clear my terminal again. Now our first step is complete that is to install a Java version 8. So we can proceed towards the second step that is to install Apache Tomcat version 9. So let us go ahead with that. Now to install Apache Tomcat version 9, I'll use wget command to download the tar file for Apache Tomcat version 9. But before that, I need to install this wget tool first. So I'll type sudo yum install wget and here we go. Press Y. Let me clear my terminal. As I've told earlier, I'll use this wget command to download the tar file for Apache Tomcat version 9. So to get the link for this particular tar file, I'll go to my browser and I'll open this particular website which I'm highlighting right now. This will give you all the versions of Apache Tomcat available. I'll proceed with Tomcat version 9. Over here I'll click on v9.0.0 m10. I'll enter the bin directory now. And I'll copy the link location for this particular tar file which I'm highlighting. As you can see, it is available for Windows operating system as well. I'll proceed with this and I'll copy the link location, go back to my terminal and I'll paste it here. And here we go. So the tar file is now downloaded. Let me clear my terminal and I'll show you where it is present in my machine. Here it is, Apache Tomcat 9.0.0.m10 tar.gz. Let me show you in my UI as well. I'll go to Edureka home and here is the tar file. Now let me go back to my terminal. I need to extract the contents from this downloaded tar file. For that I'll use tar command. I'll type tar xzf Apache Tomcat and uh, here we go. Now to make it simple, I'll copy this file to a new directory Tomcat 9 using move command. It is not mandatory. If you don't want to do that, you can still go ahead. So it is totally up to you. I'll do it. So let me show you how to do that. First, let me clear my terminal. I'll type sudo mv apache tomcat 9.0.0.m10 and move this file to a new directory tomcat 9. And here we go. So let me show you where it is present in my machine, this tomcat 9 directory. Here it is, a Tomcat 9. I can show you in my UI as well. Here it is, Tomcat 9. So let me go back to my terminal. I'll clear it first. Now I need to provide username and password for Apache Tomcat. For that, I'll use command gedit home edureka Tomcat 9 conf tomcat users.xml and here we go over here what I need to do is I need to first uh, remove these nodes 
it is not mandatory but I'll just do it and I need to replace this particular block with this block I'll tell you later why I'm doing this but let me first copy it and paste it over here now what I'm doing here is I have defined several rows as you can see I'm highlighting with my cursor these are the rows that I've defined and for all these roles, I've given one single username and password. So if you want, you can give different username and password for all these roles, but I've given them one single username and one single password, and I've separated all these roles with comma. So for the time being, I'll keep it like this. I'm going to save it now. I'll go back to my terminal. Let me first clear it. Now I need to change my directory to Tomcat 9. So I'll type change directory, Tomcat 9 and we are now in Tomcat 9 directory. So what I need to do is I need to start this Apache Tomcat. For that I'll type command bin startup.sh and here we go. So Apache Tomcat has now started. I will clear my terminal now. Now what I'll do is I'll open my browser and over here I'll uh, go to port 8080 which is the default port for Apache Tomcat. So let us proceed with that. It is localhost 8080 and here we go. As you can see that Apache Tomcat is working on port 8080 so Tomcat is running successfully. Now our second step is complete that is to install Apache Tomcat version 9. So we can proceed towards the third step that is to download Jenkins WAR file. So I'll go ahead with that. Now I need to download Jenkins WAR file. So for that let me go back to my terminal. Let me clear it. To download Jenkins WAR file, I'll use a wget command to download specific version of Jenkins WAR file. To get the link for this WAR file, I'll open my browser and I'll go to this particular website and it has all the versions of Jenkins available. So I'll just proceed with 2.7.3. I'll copy the link location, go back to my terminal. But before that, I need to change my directory to home. So let me just type change directory and I'll use this wget command to download the war file. Here we go. So Jenkins war file is now downloaded. Let me clear my terminal. Now we are done with the third step that is to download a Jenkins war file. So now we have to deploy this particular war file. So let us proceed with that. To deploy this war file, I'll go to my browser once again. I'll go to port 8080. I'll just refresh it once and over here there's an option called manager app where my cursor is pointing I'll just click over there. Now it is asking for username and password that we have specified earlier. Uh, if you can remember that different roles we have given only one single username and password. So I'll just type it. It is edureka in this case and here we go. So over here when you scroll down there's an option called deploy. Alright, so you need to provide the context path for that WAR file. So I'll just uh, type that and the directory URL where it is present in your uh, machine. I'll just, uh, so it is uh, present in home edureka jenkins.war and finally you just need to click on deploy. As you can see Jenkins version 2.7.3 is available. So we have successfully deployed this Jenkins WAR file. So now we are done with the fourth step that is to deploy Jenkins WAR file. So let us proceed with installing a relevant plugins for Jenkins. Now what I need to do here is I'll click on Jenkins and I need to unlock it first. So I'll get a one time password to unlock this. To get that one time password I'll copy this, go back to my terminal and I'll use a cat command that will actually read this one time password and display it on the screen. Let me paste it and here we go. So this is the one time password that we need to use and uh, I'll copy this, go back to the browser, I'll paste it here and finally we, we need to click on continue. So now it is asking for plugins so I can just go with install suggested plugins. If you want to select any other plugin you can just uh, click here that is select plugins to install. I'll just proceed with install suggested plugins and here we go just click over there and it will automatically install all the suggested plugins for you. So we have installed suggested plugins. So our fifth and final step is now complete 
that is to install relevant plugins. So let me go back to my terminal once again. Now I need to open the browser and uh, I need to fill this form. It is asking for username so I'll uh, type it, password, confirm it, full name and your email address. Finally click on save and finish. So Jenkins is ready. Let us start using Jenkins. So we have successfully installed Jenkins. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment your queries and questions. And do subscribe to our Edureka channel to learn more. Thank you and happy learning.